Hey everybody, John from Wire here. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to set up ad blockering recovery on your website. And we're going to do this through Google AdSense. Now, before we get started, what is ad blocking recovery? Ad blocking recovery is a message that is shown to all visitors on your website that might be using an ad blocker. The reason why you want to show this message to users that are using an ad blocker is that they won't be able to see any of your ads. So by asking them to turn off your ad blocker, you have the potential to increase your revenue on your site just by showing this message. Google allows you to do this directly within AdSense, and we're going to go through that process of setting it up today. In order to get started, you have to already have a validated Google AdSense account. If you haven't created an AdSense account, I'll include a link at the bottom of this video on how to get started with that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log in, and then on the left-hand side, click on Privacy and Messaging. This is the page that you're going to see. You're going to scroll down to where it says Ad Blocking Recovery, and then click on this tile. So now we're going to click on Continue. And there's three options. So there's Messages, what is the message that you want to display. There is Tagging, and there's also Settings. And we'll go through each one of these to understand how they work. So first, let's start with Messages. We're going to start by creating a message to all users that are using an ad blocker. To do that, we'll click on the Create Message button. So next, we're going to add our sites. So we want to include all of the websites that we have verified in Google AdSense that we want to display this message. I'm going to add wire.com. And within this section, I can also add a logo, custom choice URL, and a footer URL. For now, I'm going to skip these options, but we'll come back to it in a minute if we need to modify it. I'm going to click on Confirm. And then I'm going to choose the default language for my site. We're going to skip the option to add a custom solution. We're just going to use the default solution that AdSense provides us. Next, we're going to click on Continue. And now we have the ability to customize what the message looks like. So what we can do now is that we can go over to the styling options right here. So the style settings allows you to change what this message looks like to users that visit your site. So what I'm going to do is just to make the message consistent with the rest of my site, I'm going to go and change the font associated with both the header and also the body of the content. So to do that, I'm going to go into headline. I'm going to change the font to something a little bit more aligned with what my website uses. I can also change the color, but I'm actually going to keep the color the same for now. And then I'm going to change the font for this message as well. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify the body of this content, and I'm going to change it to something a little bit more personal. And I'm going to demonstrate within my message why I want users to make sure that they have ad blockers turned off for their site. I want to emphasize that the site is free, and I also want to emphasize that it comes at no additional cost to users to turn their ad blocker off for the purpose of using this article. Okay, so I changed this content just a little bit. I'm not making it too long or wordy because otherwise visitors aren't going to read the entire thing. And then finally, I'm just making sure that everything looks fine before I move on to the next section. Now, wait a second, what if I want to add my logo at the top of the site? To do so, we have to go back into the setup menu. So we're gonna click on the gear icon. And then if I click on the site settings here, it allows me to select the logo, custom choice URL, and the footer URL. So I'm going to add a logo, and I'm going to add it by clicking on the Add button. And then I'm just going to upload a image of my logo for this site. OK, so I've uploaded the image of my logo. I've clicked on it to select it, and now I'm going to click on OK. I'm not going to worry about the custom choice URL. And I'm not going to worry about the footer URL. I want to make this as simple as possible. So now I'm going to click on Confirm. So now you can see that my message has been updated to include my logo, and it still contains the rest of the content that we modified earlier. So now I'm going to click on Save Draft once again. And now we have the ability to go and publish this message for all of our users that are using an ad blocker. Now, before I do so, I want to do one last thing, and that is that I want to go into the Settings option, then I want to make sure that I have the ability to help users allow list your sites with one click. 
So what this does is that it allows users that are using two of the most popular ad blockers, Adblock and Adblock Plus, to allow list your sites for all future visits. This is really helpful if you don't want to show this message to every single user that is using these two ad blockers specifically. By allow listing, it basically allows your site to go forward with showing ads for all future sessions. So I want to enable this, and then I want to also show my ad blocking recovery messages for acceptable ads users. Click on save, and now we can go back into messages, and then we can publish this message. So this message pops up when I click on publish that says to publish your message, be sure to add a tag to your site when creating your first message. So in order to do that, we're going to click on OK. And then we're going to go into the tagging option in the upper left hand corner. Now, this is the message, excuse me, this is the tag that you have to add to your site in order for the message to show up. So in order to do so, what we're going to do is we're going to copy all of this code or we can click on the copy button here. And then we're going to go into our site. OK, so we've logged into our site. And what we need to do is we need to add this code that we copied earlier into the header of the site itself. If you don't already have something set up like Google Tag Manager, the easiest way to do this is through a plugin. So we're going to go into our plugin section. Then we're going to click on Add New. And then we're just going to type in footer header. The plugin we're going to use is WP codes. It's insert headers and footers. We're going to click on install now. And I will link to this plugin in the description below. And then we're going to click on activate. Okay, so we've added the plugin and it's visible right here. So now if we go on the left hand side to where it says code snippets, then we can click on the header and footer option. So the header already has some content that we've already included from earlier, but what we can do is just add content right at the bottom, which includes our custom message that we copied earlier. And again, to get this message, just go into tagging and click on copy. Now I'm just going to paste this new code right at the end of my previous code that I have here earlier. And I pasted it right there. And then I'm going to click on save changes. All right, so the settings have saved. And now let's test this by visiting our website with an ad blocker enabled. Okay, so we've navigated to our site with an ad blocker enabled, and we can see that our message is displayed to users that have it. So here it is. It is very easy. When you click on allow ads, what this does is that it whitelists your site or allow lists your site for ad block and ad block plus. So now you can see my little red icon turned to green. Now you have the ability to show ads on the site and your users will be able to see ads as soon as they click on the button. If you ever need to go back and modify the message or you want to see some metrics in terms of the number of messages that have been shown, you can go back into privacy and messaging, click on ad block and recovery, and you'll be able to see all the different stats shown right here. Now, keep in mind, this takes a little bit of time to update. So if you're not seeing this immediately, give it about a day and you'll see some updated metrics here. You can change the message style at any time by clicking on edit, and you can also unpublish your message by toggling this button right here. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. I do read each and every one of those comments, and I hope this helped. Thanks, and have a great day. Hey there. Before you go, I wanted you to know that this video is not sponsored, and I create all these videos in my free time. If you want to support this channel, please consider donating a dollar or more using the Super Thanks button at the bottom of this video. Anything you donate goes directly to me and helps fuel my coffee addiction. It encourages me to make more videos like this in the future. Thanks again for your support.